loops on VFX control. In this tutorial, we will learn all about loops on VFX control. Circled in red are the loop sections of the controller. These commands are reduced to minimum for more efficiency. There are four pads per player to memorize and create loops on the track. Underneath, the LED indicates the length of the loop. To adjust the loop length, use the arrows. You can see the length chosen on the interface as well. Manual loops. In and out functions are used to create the loops. Playing a track on player one, we are going to create a loop. The in button corresponds to the beginning of the loop. The out button corresponds to the end of the loop. Once you've created a loop, to make it shorter, press out. To exit the loop, press loop. Loops are represented on the track wave as a white transparent cone. The smart loop function creates an automatic loop, but first you need to select the length you want. To activate, hold shift and loop. The loop is created. To change the length of a smart loop, use the arrows, right for longer, left for shorter. Press loop to exit the loop. You can memorize up to four loops on VFX control using the numbered pads. Simply create a loop and press on one of the numbered pads, and the loop is saved. Once saved, the numbered pad will light, and the matching pad will be circled on the interface. These loops will be saved in the media base, which means the next time you load the track, they will be on the track wave. Here's a little demo using saved loops. Loops can be edited manually using the mouse. It's very simple. Just move the loop and then click on the number you want to save it on. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial on loops. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com.